weren't good enough, you know, full stop. Um, you know, we spoke in the week, we spoke again pre-game pre really, three key things to get right. We had to be accurate, you know, we had to adapt to the weather. We weren't. We had, uh, I think, 29 turnovers today. Uh, we had to be physical, gloss a very big team, a lot of power runners, and, and when the weather's like this, you need to make sure you make your tackles or be dominant with your carries, and be accurate with your cleans. We weren't. Uh, and they need to work unbelievably hard, and, and we didn't. And uh, unfortunately, that's what happens. We've been humbled on our own home turf against a very good team. And um, you know we have to learn the lessons from that. And it's only a, a big setback if we make it a big setback. You know, If we use that as a lesson to learn, and, and they often talk about performance leaving clues. Well, the three pretty big clues there, where we, where we lost the game, you know. So, uh, well, we ended up conceding kind of four scores. It was a bit weird, you know, Mike gets bumped for one. Uh, there's probably a forward pass in the third try. Um, you know, down to 14 men, width from a line out more, so it's a tough thing to defend when, you, when you're one down. And then uh, the last one, just really poor organization on set piece. Um, that said, you know, we've conceded too many points of late. And um, although the manner in which we're conceding, um, isn't necessarily um, critical. It's the fact that we actually conceded a lot of points and we need to make sure that we address that. So we're, we're frustrated, but we're honest. Uh, we'll look back at it and uh, tactically we'll see how we can improve as a coaching group. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed that we didn't have uh, better plans or have tactical adaption. And uh, as a playing group, you know, they have to bring effort. That's, that, that's their part of the bargain. Coming to the end of this block of league games now, we've got a uh, a week off and then we'll uh, focus back onto Saracens away on the 23rd. Uh, how do we use this rest week to make sure all guns blazing uh, against Saris? Yeah, well, it's, it's not a rest week, it's a follow week. It just means we don't have a game on the Saturday, you know, because we got, obviously got knocked out of the Premiership Cup. Um, look, we've got different plans this week, and what was right last week is still right this week. You know, the boys have to do something different. It's been the end of a, of a decent block, you know, in terms of um, output, physical output, physiological demands on the players. The last five weeks have been very, very high. Uh, you know, highest since it's been since the autumn internationals actually. So, you know, we need to make sure the players recover because we need to be uh, pumping in all cylinders when we play as Saracens. And look, we, we entered the day as third. Um, we finished the day at third, and um, you know, it's, it's not pleasant. It's not. Uh, it's not a nice feeling. Um, in the two games we've walked away without getting any points at all in the league is today and against Leicester away at Welford Road. And by far and away, that's the two poorest performances, and both had similar kind of patterns in them. You know, we didn't work hard enough, and we got we got beaten up a little bit. So, the boys are disappointed. Uh, Chris has again led with example, uh, not just by his actions on the field, but but how he spoke post the game. And um, you know, we, we want to do well this season. And uh, if we play like that and perform like that, and um, don't come in ready to go, then that's what can happen. You know, they're a good team, Gloucester, and we've got to play a lot more good teams as well. And um, you know, for, for us, we've got to recognise we are a good team ourselves. Perform, play, front up, and uh, we'll get a reward.